Hi, hi, it's Aya here, and so today I'm back again with another tutorial. So this one is a uh, business analyst and API, and I will walk you through the API definition, some uh, actionable uh, things that you can do with the uh, API, and uh, the detail into the API user story. <laughs> Okay, so first, uh, let me walk through what is an ABI. So the uh, definition, so an ABI stands for Application Programming Interface. is a set of definition and protocol for building and integrating application software. So simply speaking, it is kind of like a messenger. Uh, so you have the web access, uh, so you can see the UI and perform action on it. Uh, for example, you submit a form and uh, in order for the form to be saved in the database uh, it needs to be put it in the api and the api will uh, be the messenger to send information from the front end to the system and the system will uh, write to the database so that is a definition but i will show you an example so this is a very interactive example from um new soft video so sort of shout out to them okay so this is the one Okay, so that is the uh, very understandable example uh, of the API. Okay, so next uh, we would have the uh, why uh, a, a BA should know about API. So for example, uh, firstly, if the API is defined and you use the API to show, uh, to do uh, for some specific feature, you should know about API so that uh, you will know the end result that the system will deliver through the API or have the developer to choose which API to use and uh, it also have in creating better requirement and supporting the documentation of the spec specification for the application and if the API is undefined you may need to write the API user story and um, but before that you will need to document the business need and um, you know some preconditions that if it's work for the multi platform in order to define um, an API okay so now um, so to work with API a defined API you should look at the API spec um, the reason so firstly um, a business analyst may be aware of the service offered by a third party uh, but they may not aware of the functionality that third party support for example you may know that stripe is an uh, is a payment platform that support the payment of um, your application but you may not know about some features such as the rule regarding refund or the amount um, that need to be put in um, the API for that to be work uh, to to work, uh, and so you need to look at the API spec um, to create the requirement. And sometimes um, the API have a lot of uh, attribute, and uh, when you ask your client uh, need or your the stakeholder need, uh, some of them may not be used. And for example. So in the project, there is a feature related to customer service. So these are features that I uh, used to work on. And the original requirement is that the inquiry will be sorted into tier, depend on um, the subscription, and hence be decided on their okay on the um, priority. I forgot to say the right thing. 
so basically sometimes when you use a customer service um, it will say that because you are on the free tier so uh, it will be sorted in maybe five days instead of um, the highest priority if you use the premium service so this is the requirement and also the user can send the inquiry with category for example um, if the inquiry related to the application itself or uh, some type of uh, business um, but not about the application okay so let's see okay so next I will look at the um, defining requirement when researching the API spec this is from the previous form so you look at the API spec and start uh, looking at how you create the requirements that cater uh, the needs of um, the stakeholder from the requirement so this is the uh, API spec taken from uh, Zendesk which is a customer service third party um, and Okay, so I have uh, cut out some of the unnecessary information because there are a lot of field and you need to look at the business type and also the uh, requirement in order to uh, see which um, attributes will be used. So here, um, to in order to send a ticket or an inquiry to the uh, to Zendesk. Uh, there is Z field, so we have the ID uh, with the integer uh, automatically assigned when the ticket is created. Um, and so, look at the requirement I already mentioned. For example, the inquiry will be sorted into tier. So, look at here, we have the priority here. So, for example, if it is pr premium tier, um, the spike. Uh, when you uh, write it for the dev to implement you will say that for example um, the API for the um, premium user uh, will have the priority of the API set to urgent uh, while the free um, trial will be set to normal or low okay and the second one inquiry will be with category so we have the custom view maybe um, the custom view here you will define some kind of category and then um, for example uh, if that category belongs to the app you will have the application uh, custom view here and the business and uh, for example uh, some other um, request information so you will assign to the custom view here okay so that is why you need to look at the api spec um and normally it will be published uh, so you just need to say like send dev api spec and there is a uh, the whole documentation here so for you to look through and see uh how um an api would return the result for you to uh, work on the requirement okay so with the um, requirements that we already write the spec for and research the ABI um, we will have the design followed by um, the spec so this is a form of contact us so basically you input the information into this form and then when you hit submit it will call the ABI and then an a query um, inquiry will be created on Zendex automatically and it will have it will return the response for example success here and you will show the pop-ups that so it is a set um, so we have first name surname okay uh, so on this list there is no first name surname but actually uh, they have but because this list is too long so I'll just crop this one and put it here and we have the email so the email would be for example the is assign me email uh, I'm sorry this one is assign ticket to so there is another email view um, the phone number the detail here can be put into the description 
and finally the attack your file so you will see here then that's allowed the uh, attachment here so uh, you can have the attachment here so the uh, user can input maybe an, an email or uh, I'm sorry an Im image or a video uh, for the admin to support them okay so uh, looking at ABI spec you can know the type of attachment uh, will, su will be supported uh, in the desk as well okay so this is the design